tonight's the night and we're actually going now um, on a tour to hopefully, fingers crossed, to get to see the Northern Lights. We are like so excited. Um, hopefully it is a little bit cloudy, but I'm hoping that obviously the clouds slightly move because then we'll get to see the lights. So here we go, let's go to see the lights. Just uh, coming inside the bus, we do have Wi-Fi on the bus. We recommend two applications for your phone to capture the lights on your phone. Uh, we're here both uh, to assist you of capturing the lights. We're heading to Thinkvetlir, our uh, national park. This will take us around 25 minutes. We're hoping to caps capture, capture the lights uh, on the highlands on the way to Thinkvetlir. So maybe earlier. Uh, so just bear with us if we need to stop in the middle of the highland. Uh, we do have our colleagues on the road as well, so we are coordinating with them. Uh, they are already on the highland. Uh, there are some uh, lights visible at the moment, but uh, tonight the clouds are teasing us a little bit. But it can be a great contrast between the clouds and the northern lights if we're capable of ca capturing solar explosions. So within the sun there are solar explosions, and from there there are particles, and then gases which are released into the deep space and from there there are uh, solar winds that uh, carry these particles to the planet and once it hits the uh, the magnetic shield of uh, our blue planet it interacts with the higher upper layer of the, the atmosphere and this is what we call the northern lights i hope there's no astro astrologist in the bus he will probably make fun of me but uh, this is that I know how they have uh, perceived the, the northern lights. This is all uh, calculated with the satellites, and we can calculate even a forecast a few weeks ahead, depending on the speed of the solar winds. And sometimes, just in uh, even in two or three weeks' time, we can even make a forecast of a good uh, uh, northern light experience.